let's have another look at one of the most important thing of the Gleason's map. What does it mean? It means during the equinox the sun is 90 degrees above the equator. If you are at latitude 45 degrees south, the angle, the true angle to the sun is 45 degrees. If you are on latitude, at the latitude north, the true angle to the sun is also 45 degrees. That is also the latitude, 45 degrees. When you are at 45 degrees latitude, facing the sun, you're looking in the north direction, the angle is 45 degrees, and this is when you are at north, facing, looking at the sun at the south direction, the angle is 45 degrees. Let me explain it a different way and hopefully you will understand what the Gleason's map is showing you. This represents the sun. During the equinox the sun is 19 degrees above the equator. 90 degrees on top of your head if you're at the equator. And latitude 45 degrees when you face the sun in a south direction the angle is also 45 degrees it is the true angle 45 degrees same as the 45 degrees latitude and when you're at the 45 degrees south facing the sun on the north The angle is 45 degrees on the same longitude. The base is flat and level. It's a straight line. It's, it's a straight line. It's not curved. The sun is straight 90 degrees on top of the equator. It's 90 degrees latitude 45 degrees the true angle is also 45 degrees 45 degrees north the true angle is also 45 degrees when you're at latitude 45 degrees you're facing the sun in the south direction and when you're at the 45 degrees south you face the sun in northern direction and both angles are 45 degrees during the equinox on the same longitude this is not what I'm telling you this is what the Gleason's map is showing us there's one more thing we can do is find the data and compare it with the Gleason's map Let's use the meridian of Greenwich during the equinox. That means the sun is at the equator. The meridian of Greenwich is longitude zero. And find the angle from latitude 45 degrees to the sun and 45 degrees north to the sun. Both angles should be 45 degrees. The sun at the equator during the equinox. Now let's find the equinox of uh, 2022. Tuesday September 22 as last year. Well let's go to September 2022 last year. That is, um, <coughs> we go to the sumcalc.org to find the sun path and we can also see the angle and that is uh, 22 and September let's find September last year 22 September this is September 22 last year 
and we go to latitude 45 degrees north and longitude zero that is the meridian of Greenwich so it is at 45 on zero the angle is 45 degrees well it's 45.23 degrees but it's 45 degrees let me zoom it in so we can have a better look let me make a, a quick screenshot a screenshot let me zoom it in you see the angle is 45 degrees latitude 45 the angle is 45 degrees during the equinox at uh, 45 degrees north now let's have a look at the latitude 45 degrees south and see if it's if it is also 45 degrees we go to uh, 45 degrees so now we're at the south at l the angle is 44.8 let's say 45 also 45 degrees so both angles at latitude 45 degrees north and south are 45 degrees to the sun snapshot and zoom it in now here it is 44.8 maybe you can find the exact location and find and see that it is 45 degrees but 45 44.8 I mean it's, it's 45 degrees on both latitude and the Sun is at the equator at the moment this is the Sun at the equator and you are at 45 degrees this is the data this is it, it confirms what the Gleason's map is showing us you saw the data during the equinox both angles from the 45 degrees latitudes 45 degrees north and 45 degrees south both angles are 45 degrees it confirms what the Gleason's map is showing us the question is if the Sun is millions of miles away can you measure both angles of 45 degrees to the Sun I don't think so.